How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out how we can unlock the Warrior and the Sorcerer vocations in Dragon's Dogma 2. Both of these are going to be unlocked by completing the same side quest called Vocation Frustration. To gain access to this side quest, we do first need to complete the main story mission called Seat of the Sovereign. Seat of the Sovereign is like the fourth main story quest, so this is really early on in the game. So once we've completed the Seat of the Sovereign main quest, we want to go to Vernworth Vocation Guild, which of course is in Vernworth. And here we're going to talk with Klaus at the counter. Now if we choose to change vocation, we can see that there are options for both Sorcerer and Warrior, however they're locked at the moment, and then we'll when we exit out of the conversation with Klaus, he'll tell us the reason for this is that there is a shortage of archie staffs and great swords. And this is where you start the vocation frustration side quest. Now really you can just hand in any great sword and any archi staff if you do have them for other means in the game, but if you're doing this early you most likely don't have these weapons yet. So following this side quest is actually a great way to find a cave that actually has both of the weapons needed inside the very same cave. Once we finish the conversation with Klaus, we want to go and talk with Roderick down here at the blacksmith weapon shop also in Vernwood. Worth. This will update the vocation frustration side quest and mark off a objective on the map. This objective is actually going to be the Trevo Mine. Inside Trevo Mine is where you're going to find both the Greatsword and the Archie Staff. Marker number one is going to be the location of the chest where we're going to find the Greatsword and marker number two as we've just placed here is going to be the Archie Staff. So from the entrance to this cave just to make sure nobody gets lost we're going to quickly run through here and pick up both of these weapons that we need. Come to think of it, different masters favor different... Very well. Once we have both of these weapons, we need to return back to the Vernworth Vocation Guild and speak with Klaus again, hand in both of these weapons, and this will unlock both the Sorcerer and the Warrior Vocation classes, whatever you want to call them. I hope you did find this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad.